My man, 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 my
song says brothers from 17th street love to get down and if you do come on and join us dr dan god rhythm to the hub man hand drum rhythm timbali man got stick rhythm 180 beat 360 degrees We're gonna add a few more ingredients gonna get a little bass little flute drums Everybody. The chance to 
warm up my cha cha here. I've done a lot of traveling. Coming from where some of the rivers are coming from and stuff. 
Here's a song for you called Tomorrow's Chain. And if you're ready, get on board. Here's a song for you called Tomorrow's Chain. And if you're ready, get on board.
Não, está aí, está aí. Muito obrigado.
very much. Must be something we can do. Doctor, I could use some help, man. I can't deal with no frozen bird, doctor. Rhythm master, make me stronger. Rhythm master, help me out, doctor.
we have assigned ourselves the task of defining certain certain trends and certain situations and in such have become I guess more so than musicians bluesicians because we have tended to try to define certain means and modes related to the blues we attempted to define the lie detector blues it's caught by Mayor Frank Rizzo I understand that he is sick currently and we send our coldest regards the lie detector blues and what Brian Jackson used to refer to as the ex officio blues it's caught by Agnew Nixon it's terminal <laughs> And what we found ourselves becoming afflicted with over the past six months or so is the Bicentennial Blues. Some people think that America invented the blues. And few people doubt that America is the home of the blues. Because the bluesicians have gone all over the world carrying the blues message and the world has snapped its fingers and tapped its feet right along with the blues folks, but the blues has always been totally American. As American as apple pie. As American as the blues. As American as apple pie. The question is why? Why should the blues be so at home here? Well, America provided the atmosphere. America provided the atmosphere for the blues and the blues was born. The blues was born on the American wilderness. The blues was born on the beaches where the slave ships docked. Born on the slave man's auction block. The blues was born and carried on the howling wind. The blues grew up a slave. The blues grew up as property. The blues grew up in Nat Turner visions. The blues grew up in Harriet Tubman courage. The blues grew up in small town deprivation. The blues grew up in big city isolation. The blues grew up in the nightmares of the white man. The blues grew up in the blues singing of Bessie and Billy and Ma. The blues grew up in Satchmo's horn, on Duke's piano, in Langston's poetry, on Robeson's baritone. The point is that the blues is grown. The blues is grown now, full grown, and you can trace the evolution of the blues on a parallel line with the evolution of this country. From Plymouth Rock to Acid Rock, from 13 states to Watergate, the blues is grown, but not the home. The blues is grown, but the country has not. The blues remembers everything the country forgot. It's a bicentennial year, and the blues is celebrating a birthday. And it's a bicentennial blues. America has got the blues and it's a bicentennial edition. The blues view might amuse you, but make no mistake, it's a bicentennial year. A year of hysterical importance. A year of historical importance. <laughs> Ripped off like donated moments from the past. 200 years ago this evening. 200 years ago last evening. And what about now? The blues is now. The blues has grown up and the country has not. The country has been ripped off. Ripped off like the Indians. Ripped off like jazz. Ripped off like nature. Ripped off like Christmas manhandled by media overkill, goosed by aspiring vice presidents, violated by commercial corporations. A bicentennial year, the year the symbol transformed into the B-U-Y centennial. By a car, by a flag, by a map. Until the public in mass has been bludgeoned into bicentennial submission or bicentennial suspicion. I fall into the latter category. It's a, a blues year, and America has got the blues. It's got the blues because of partial deification of partial accomplishments over partial periods of time. Halfway justice, halfway liberty, halfway equality. It's a half ass year.
And we would be silly in all our knowledge, in all our self-righteous knowledge, when we sit back and laugh and mock the things that happen in our lives, to accept anything less than the truth about this bicentennial year. And the truth relates to 200 years of people and ideas getting by. It got by George Washington. The ideas of justice, liberty, and equality got cold by George Washington. Slave owner general. Ironic that the father of this country should be a slave owner. The father of this country, a slave owner. Having got by him, it made it easy to get by his henchmen, the creators of this liberty, who slept in the beds with the captains of slave ships, fought alongside black freedmen in the Union Army, and left America a legacy of hypocrisy. It's a blues year. Got by Gerald Ford, oatmeal man. <laughs> Has declared himself at odds with people on welfare, people who get food stamps, daycare children, the elderly, the poor, women, and people who might vote for Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, it got by him. Holly Weird. <laughs> acted like an actor, acted like a liberal, acted like General Franco when he acted like governor of California, and now he acts like somebody might vote for him for president. It got by Jimmy Carter, Skippy. Got by Jimmy Carter and got by him and his friend, the Colonel, the creators of Southern Fried Triple Talk, a blues trio. America got the blues. It got by Henry Kissinger, the international godfather of peace. A piece of Vietnam, a piece of Laos, a piece of Angola, a piece of Cuba. A blues quartet. And America got the blues. The point is that it may get by you for another four years, for another eight years. You stuck playing second fiddle in a blues quartet. Got the blues looking for the first principle, which was justice. It's a blues year for justice. It's a blues year for the San Quentin Six looking for justice. It's a blues year for Gary Tyler looking for justice. It's a blues year for Reverend Ben Chavis looking for justice. It's a blues year for Boston looking for justice. It's a blues year for babies on buses. It's a blues year for mothers and fathers with babies on buses. It's a blues year for Boston. And it's blues year all over this country. America has got the blues. And the blues is in the street looking for the three principles, justice, liberty, and equality. We would do well to join the blues looking for justice, liberty, and equality. The blues is in the street. America has got the blues, but don't let it get by us. Thank you very much. So if you'll help us out here with Wa Wan Wan Ko, the song is called The Bottle. And the rhythm is celebrating time. Brian Jackson on flute for you. We'll give us a little bit of help here. Help us out a little bit, Bottom. Black boy over there running scared His old man in a bottle Said he done quit hit 95 Big full time Now he's hanging in a bottle You see that black boy over there running scared His old man got a problem He likes to drink too much He done fun up damn near everything His old boy Oh, 
Thank you. 